Hello, my name is Esmond, the country director for PO Earth Ghana. I would like to use this opportunity to wish all a happy Earth Day. The Earth is all we have, and we must do everything we can to protect it. Pure Earth is joining the rest of the world to mark the International Earth Day with a call to action and also to celebrate the solutions thus far. Pure Earth is an international environmental organization dedicated to addressing toxic pollution and saving the planet. Pure Earth has been championing uh, the cause of uh, remediating uh, toxic sites and also advocating for uh, environmental regulations that would ensure the prevention of uh, toxic pollution in general. The effect of toxic pollution on our health and on the planet are dire and the consequences are very, very, very severe. And so there's a need for us to highlight this plight and how uh, endangered our planet or our world is if nothing is done uh, to address this. Over the last 25 years, POF has been partnering with government, uh, communities, uh, international uh, organizations, the civil society groups, and funders to address the effects of mercury pollution and lead pollution in particular on children and pregnant women. And so this is an opportunity for us to say, look, there's a need for a concerted effort during this International Earth Day uh, to raise awareness about the plight and to call on all uh, to join Pure Earth in addressing and tackling the meanings of toxic pollution in our world. Personally, the World Earth Day uh, means a lot to me. This is the only planet we have. We have no other planet apart from Mother Earth. And so for me, my role is to ensure that we have the right regulations and regime to protect our planet by advocating for uh, stricter and tighter regulations once it comes to environmental conservation. And this is something that I think Pure Earth has been doing. And that was one of the main reasons for joining Pure Earth, to ensure that we work together in, in addressing the adverse effects of the activities of toxic pollution on Mother Earth. Um, professionally, it's been amazing. Uh, since the inception of the International Earth Day uh, in the 1970s, it has led to so many awareness on, on issues affecting the planet, especially once we focus our lens on the toxic pollution, the lead and mercury pollution that has plagued the world, especially our nation Ghana. And also professionally, the call for action to tighten the regulations around the activities of man that would adversely affect the population and the planet in general. My first involvement in the well Earth Day activities is through Pure Earth. Last year, we organized a webinar to sensitize the population about the adverse effect of mercury pollution on the planet and what it does to the population. And that was my first time in getting involved. A lot has been accomplished during that event because we raised awareness about the effect of mercury on, on, on the planet and on health in general. Very important success story uh, was the webinar uh, that we carried out that brought together a lot of people uh, in the academia, uh, in government, and civil society, and, and the communities to raise awareness about the effect of toxic pollution. And in that meeting, we had uh, the media uh, who actually uh, carried the stories and, and published them. We've received a lot of calls from the international community in particular uh, to learn about uh, what Pure Ed is doing and, and how they can support in addressing this. And I would say that that has been a win-win for us because when it comes to issues of toxic pollution, uh, i.e. mercury and lead pollution, a lot of the people don't know much about it. And so it was a win-win for us to get people to reach out to us after the, uh, the webinar to learn more and how they can support in carrying out awareness and education to address the issue. The most significant impact is, is awareness creation, you know, to 
to save our planet, to protect our planet. Secondly, is, is rules and regulations. Um, since the inception of the first uh, international uh, World Earth Day, we had uh, US, for example, riding on the back of that to bring about the Environmental Protection Agency in the US and a lot of other uh, agencies that were mandated to support in, in advocating for a mother earth. In Ghana here as well, a lot has been done, a lot of capacity through the US EPA to our Ghana uh, counterpart here, the Ghana Environmental Protection Agency. So I think the World Earth Day has brought about an awareness on environmental issues and strategies that would ensure the conservation of the only planet we have. Like I said, there's no known um, at anywhere that we would go there. That is all we have here. And so we have to do all we can to, to ensure that we create awareness during uh, the Earth Day and also advocate for tighter rules and regulations to ensure our mother Earth is protected. Pure Earth is, is committed to working with the international community, uh, with academia, with government to address the most severe uh, canker that is gradually creeping into the planet. This threat has lingered on for long, but a lot of uh, information was lacking then. But now we have a lot of information concerning the toxic pollution and a lot needs to be done. I would like to call on all and sundry and uh, the government agencies, the international communities, uh, the funders uh, who care about the cost of our planet um, to commit resources into addressing this canker that is silently eating deep into Mother Earth and, and affecting the health of, of, of her children.